Yes, we're here, and yes, we are back in a big way. It's Bob Lorenz and Ian Joy with you, along with the former Yankee, still a current Yankee, 2009 <laughs> champion, the five-star general of the Bleacher Creatures, Nick Swisher joining us. Nick, Let's how are you holding up for all of this? What is everything we've endured meant to you and your family? Yeah, I, I tell you what, man, you know, it's like we've said, and I think a lot of people have talked about all this. This has been something that's never happened before, right? I mean, it's almost like we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants, trying to figure out exactly how to go about doing all this. And, you know, like we say, man, I mean, I'm a silver linings guy. I, I know this has affected so many people in the worst of ways. But for myself, and I'm sure a lot of other people out there, man, this is the most time I've been able to spend with my family since like the beginning of it. And I mean, I, I, I know the same for y'all. I mean, we're cooking dinners every night. We're able to be together. I'm able to be a school teacher, bro. I mean, I'm able to put in that time with my kids that I've been searching for. And when you retire, man, it's like, you're always trying to find things to do. And for myself, man, maybe I might be a teacher. I'm not sure. I mean, Matt, I'm pretty good at math, you know, especially first grade math, bro. I'm, I'm, that's right up my alley. <laughs> hey, Swish, there's no doubt that it's a difficult time for people. And of course, it gives you an opportunity to spend quality time with your family. But it's also an opportunity for people to get creative. And you caught my attention. Not only am I following you just because I love your passion, I love your energy. I want to feed off that. I want to learn from the best. I noticed that you're actually helping a lot of people. Talk us about some of the projects you've been doing getting creative. I, I think it's kind of one of those things that it's, it's kind of crazy how all this kind of came about. You know, this year I was able to get to spring training a little earlier, right? And I was able to spend a lot of time with our minor league guys. And it's crazy because we just hired 10 to 15 new coaches on the minor league side of things. So for myself to be able to kind of be down there and exactly kind of let people know exactly how our organization is run was an honor for me. But in that time, all of a sudden, I find myself spending time with 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds. And I'm kind of like, wow, man, this is, this is it's amazing how influential you can be for these young kids, right? Like teach them something that they might not know already. And yeah. for a guy like me, you know, maybe it's the way I say something. Maybe it's the way I verbalize something to you that makes a whole lot of sense. It may not be something different, but it may be something that I said or maybe something that somebody else says that really pushes you in the right direction. And I think for myself, I'm also realizing that now that my career is done, I find joy in helping others, right? It's not about me anymore. As a professional athlete, your life is so centered around you the amount of sleep you get, what time you eat, what time you go to the ballpark, what time you get home from the ballpark, all that stuff. Well, guess what, baby? It ain't about me no more, right? I got my two daughters, I've got my wife. And so for myself, I've really kind of like enjoyed the fact that now I'm, I'm being able to mentor kids, right? I'm being able to give them some advice that they might, they might not know already. And for these little six-year-old, eight-year-old, nine, 10, 11, 12-year-olds, I'm having so much fun because at the end of the day, I want that passion of mine to exude off onto them, right? I want them to know that baseball is an amazing game. It's hard, but if we work our hardest, right, and we put our best, fr our be our best foot forward each and every day, and we continue to keep getting better, there's always a chance for us to reach our final goal. Not right. everybody's going to make it, but for the, some, uh, the special and the very lucky few that get that opportunity to do it, I want them to cherish every moment. The good yeah. times, the bad times, all that stuff. And, and as Swing Dr. Swish, on your Instagram account, you're helping kids do that. So now it's time for you to mentor <laughs> a couple students, me and Ian. Ian, you set this up. You kind of want to do this as a challenge with me, right? Yeah, I mean, I just noticed that I recognize what Swish was doing for people breaking down swings, and I thought it would be a great opportunity. Bob, I know you love a challenge. I, and I didn't <laughs> think there would be a better person to throw in the mix between me and you than Nick Swisher. Great time. Let's do man. it. So the doctor's in the house. Doctor's in the, Dr. In the office, baby. Break, here we are, baby. In, in the office right here. I'm ready. Let's <laughs> get it. Hey, man, I, I was really impressed, right? Left-handed, bro. Yeah. Just ready. Good to go. Hey, I tell you what, the high school is not going to be very happy. You blasted balls up on their screen <laughs> like that for sure. No I, doubt about that. But the one thing that I really, really appreciate and the thing I try to talk to a lot of my kids about is the connection you have within your own body right? Everything's under control. You're not out of balance. You're right exactly where you need to be. I've always been a big guy, right? I feel like a lot of kids, for me, I try to line up the door knocking knuckles, right? Yeah. It feels like it always put me in a powerful position because a lot of young kids that I get with, that elbow's up real high, but the first thing that happens is there's a shift. There's a rotation in my shoulders that doesn't need to be there. And for myself, the only thing that I want my kids to do 
with the power that pitchers are supplying nowadays, the only thing I want them to be able to do is have barrel control, barrel accuracy. And that's exactly what you had, Bob. Bro, that two-handed finish, the connection, the back elbow sliding into the slot, I love that. Because at the end of the day, with a swing like that, it's efficient, it's short, it's quick. You've got plate coverage. You can hit the ball to left center, right center. Because at the end of the day, not everybody can hit home runs. We have to have a plethora of baseball players. And for you, my man, you look like my line drive guy. Yeah. I could put you in that two hole right there, put the ball in play, maybe hit and run with you a little bit. I'm telling you, man, when I saw the swing, I was impressed. Well, not only with the swing, but with the sound as well. Bro. I had a little, had a little luscious locks back there. Yeah, day. yeah. Nice. It, that happens in quarantine. Also, <laughs> did you notice the little Mickey Rivers half bat flip at the end of the one? Yeah, hey, you like that, yeah. right? Hey, Mickey Quick, bro, <laughs> one of my favorites, baby. Hey, a legend in the pinstripes for sure. So you've got to have a little swag off of somebody. So I always try to tell young kids as well, watch guys. Emulate guys. Find guys that you want to be like. Because like I always say, man, you've got to be you. Not everybody is the same, and you have to find the way your body works compared to the way somebody else's body works. And I'll tell you where I got that swing, and I'm glad it still exists years later. In high school, my best friend and I, Mike Kirsch, were disciples of the book The Art of Hitting 300 by Charlie Lau, the former Amazing hitting coach. Probably he crafted George Brett into the hitter he was. That's where that came from, and I'm glad it was still there in some way, shape, or form. All right, now, now let's break down the and see what Ian's got. All right, here we go. Well, hey, when I first saw this, bro, the overall swag that I got right out of the gates, totally. right, with the, little, totally. the socks, the whole nine, right, there's actually a fence involved in the swing, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Now, hey, I've swung with those little baseball bats just like everybody else's. That's not easy, Ian. For you to be able to have back control and to be able to create that launch angle, bro, to give you that beautiful trajectory over the center field fence, my man, I'm telling you, bro, not only was I proud, but everybody else that's watching this video should be proud as well. I'm telling you, man, you, you used your legs well. And another thing that I'll bring up on your swing that I really enjoyed was this, right? If you can see my body, there's what's called a power L at the end of the swing. And what I mean is when that backside comes through and you get that L forming in your backside, bro, because you know why? The power comes from your legs and from your hips and your torso. And that's exactly what you did, bro. Lean it over there on that front side, bro. It was almost like a little Adrian Beltre kind of dropped that back knee straight down. That was awesome, man. I, I couldn't believe it, man. The fact that you guys haven't gone out to some sort of tryout in this band right now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we can make it back, bro. Bring them back. You guys got this. Dude, that was so awesome. It was really, honestly, the first time I've actually held a bat that big because, you know, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a small guy, so holding a kid's bat is probably the perfect size for me. And then the trajectory <laughs> of the ball, it just, I just thought, oh, Swish is going to love this It was beautiful. Oh, you, know, you know what I said when I saw it? I was like, wow, man, the slow-mo was yeah. majestic, bro. Majestic. You know what I'm saying? It was lot, amazing. A lot of production quality put into that. So if I'm the two hitter, <laughs> then Ian elevates. He's probably what the three oh, yeah. or four hitter, right? Yeah, you know we can also bring him down there five, six. I mean, if I'm thinking of our Yankee lineup, bro, you feel like you're going to have guys on base all season long. So as long as you can fight your way into that lineup, you're going to have some boys to be driving in for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's I go. Absolutely love it, Nick. So good. Thanks for breaking it down. Really had a great time. Your boy Swish on Instagram, Nick Swisher on Twitter. So good to see you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep bringing that energy. You and Ian are in my Hall of Fame for energy <laughs> and positivity. Let's go, Ian. I'm telling you, brother. Right now, we're in a tough phase of life, man. We've got to do our best to try and be a ray of sunshine out there, bro. Because I know there's a lot of people that could use it right now. This is yeah. affecting a lot of people in a bad way. And I guess it's guys like us, man. It's our job for the smile on people's face. Let them know that we can get through this, especially in a place like New York, which has absolutely just been a, a tough spot and has been hit so bad that we're going to get through this. If we do our part, we stick together. Hey, man, we can get this done, man, because we'll always come back stronger than we were when we first started. No doubt about it. I don't think I could say it any better than that, Nick. Thank you so much for joining us. That passion, that energy, I just love. I love watching you. I love seeing you around Fox <laughs> Studios. Keep doing what you're doing. You are bringing ah. positivity, and people need that. Thank you, Ian. Brother, I really, really appreciate you guys having me on. Bob, you're the man. You guys keep being awesome, man. I'll see you guys soon.